It's Tip Tuesday and good afternoon or morning wherever you may be. I am Lorraine Brock, professional organizer and owner of a company called Get Organized. And every Tuesday I bring you guys a tip on something about your home, business, or life. And I love to be organized. I love to think organized when I am problem solving, when I am uh, planning an event. I love organization because, to be honest, the best way to prevent chaos in your life is preparation. And organization is preparation. It is planning and preparing ahead and making sure all your ducks are in a row. I know often people um, ask me, well, Lorraine, are you really, really organized? And I'm really, really organized, but I am not a perfectionist. I don't make my bed every day. I'm okay with going to bed with dishes in the sink. I'm not a perfectionist, but I'm very much, if you open my counters and my cupboards and you look inside my file cabinet, I'm very organized and able to find things really quickly. I see the big picture, but I don't focus so much on the small things that sometimes really don't matter from getting the big picture done. Well, it is getting close to, uh, not Thanksgiving, uh, Valentine's Day. I don't know how I got Thanksgiving, but it is getting so close to Valentine's Day. And I wanted to do something a little fun today and talk to you guys about uh, being a shopper that is savvy when Valentine's or any holiday is here. I'm going to focus on Valentine's since that's right around the corner and give you guys a little bit of insight. So when I was a little girl, my dad would always, absolute always be the best guy to get Valentine's for both my mom and me. Now I had two older brothers and they were 10 and 12 years older than me. So they were already out of the house pretty much what I can remember. So I don't remember them getting Valentine's, but I'm sure that they did. But my dad was outstanding at giving me and my mom some kind of special treat on Valentine's. He'd always bring a card or a special note, and then he would normally leave a box of chocolates. So I have this romantic um, image of Valentine's Day. It doesn't mean that it has to be between a husband or a wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, but just, you know, a dad being wonderful to his daughter or a mom in my case with three boys being sweet to her sons on Valentine's Day. I think that has really it's really been embedded in me from a young age to really give a significant um, effort to make that day special. And I wanted to share with you guys a couple of things. So my mom have, has really ingrained in me to be a savvy shopper. Now I do pay full price for things. Uh, sometimes I'm not smart. Most of the time I'm really savvy. I'm always looking for deals, stacking coupons, um, trying to find it used. And one of the days I remember that was after Valentine's Day, me and my mom went to Eckerd's, which for you guys that don't know what Eckerd's is, um, it is a drugstore like CVS or uh, Walgreens. But back in those days, it was called Eckerd's. And Eckerd's was all over. I think it was a nationwide chain. And my mother would go into Eckerd's a lot to look for after holiday discounts. Well, this particular time that she went in was right after Valentine's Day. And I was with her. And boy, we just got so excited about discounts and buying things. And true, we bought things we really did not need. And on this particular occasion, we came home with an embarrassing number of heart-shaped boxes of chocolate, probably all at least 75% off, if not 90. My mother didn't pay the 50. That was way too much. And I remember in our home in Garland, she had laid out the entire living room floor with box chocolates and most of them being the average size. And there was a few that were gigantic. And boy, my heart was like, this is so cool. I mean, just the beauty of it. Now, I know we didn't eat all of that. I know that we gave a lot of it away and blessed somebody else. But my mom was a savvy shopper and I inherited that from my mom. And so how I prepare and plan for the Valentine's Day from the kids all the way up to my husband 
is absolutely still with that thinking in mind of being a savvy shopper. So I wanted to share with you guys my tip today on being a savvy shopper and show you some examples. So tonight, which is not obviously Valentine's, it's Tuesday, um, I'm having my grandkids over and we're gonna do some cupcakes. We've already made the cupcakes. I've got all the little decorating things ready and I've got them bags ready, which by the way, all these things in these bags were purchased from Savvy Shopping after a holiday and I've put together the entire bags for them. Now, of course, they can't see Facebook Live streaming, so they're not going to be able to have any clue what's in here. But everything in here from the Popoff's coloring book uh, to this is Valentine's heart-shaped crayons that you can color with, all these were at least 50%, if not 75% off. These are a box. These were big boxes of fruit snacks. I mean, I don't know. A box probably had 50 of these. And these were right after Christmas. And I just bought the big old box. And then I divided it between my grandkids in order for them to enjoy uh, these treats on Valentine's. So no chocolates in here, but definitely treats for them that they can enjoy. And even the bags were purchased after a holiday, in particular Valentine's Day, to get it at about 75% off. So they, they see me coming and I'm buying all this stuff and I'm getting like a whole bag of stuff for like dollars. One of the things that I want to show you right here, which is not Valentine's Day, but is just an example. Michael's, uh, the craft store, right after each holiday, they have bags, big, oh, you know, the large Michael's bags. They're called the guess what bags. And really you can see a little bit inside of them, but not thoroughly. You sort of have to peek and feel, but they have these bags filled with all kinds of holiday decor and gifts and trinkets for $4. I mean, yeah, four, not five, four. Yes, American dollars, $4. And so this is what partly of what was in one of the bags that I got after 4th of July. You know these things, you've seen them. They're like, um, what are they actually called? They're called flag, flag bunting. And this is sort of a burlap. And, and then obviously it expands, right? And I've got four of these in one of my bags. In addition, I got a really cute, it's gonna appear backwards, but a really uh, cold sodas sold here. It's a wooden sign. Um, that would normally probably sell for at least $10. It says 40. You know, Michaels is not going to charge you 40 for that. But nevertheless, you're going to pay more than $4. And then I got a whole bunch of all kinds of artificial flowers. Now, this was just a little bit. I got Mylar balloons. I got a lot of these little trinkets in here for $4. Yes. One, two, three, four. It's crazy. So look for after holiday sales to buy. So I don't rush out and pay full price. I have a little area that I have my gift closet in, which we're going to take a look at one day. And I get everything together and put it by season or I label it of who it's going to go to. So shop savvy after Christmas, after Thanksgiving, after Valentine's Day, and get these things really, really cheap. And yet it doesn't even look like it whatsoever. In fact, the last thing I want to give you is these Valentine's treats that you're going to see all over the place. If you'll buy them in bulk right after Valentine's Day, you can use them for Easter. Drop the mic. Yeah, Easter. Because you can take all that candy and put it in the Easter eggs from Valentine's Day and you're paying 50, 75% less. It's amazing. You just think a little bit savvy and you too can save some money when you're getting ready for all your Valentine's decor and you'll get to enjoy that discount next year by not having to pay full price. All right, so let's move on in our tip Tuesday. So our giveaway this month for the all month of February is going to be a product called Table Topics. Now, this is one of a few that the actual company has. Um, there is here, this one is called A Girl's Night Out. This one is called uh, Couples. 
And then um, good for husbands and wives or boyfriends and girlfriends that need some conversation starters. And then this one is a one that's geared towards the family. I've already opened this. This is ours. And basically, they're just cards with questions on them to get conversations started and to get to know each other even more. I mean, we've been married almost 32 years. I still don't know all the answers to some of his questions on these. Um, um, How does a person become courageous? That's one of mine and my family one. Or let's see here. Um, When is it okay to lie? That's a good conversation. The bad guy comes in the house. My family's in the closet. Not happening. So I would lie then. Uh, What character traits of your brothers or sisters would you like to have? So really great conversation starters. And that particular one that I was reading from was from the family cube. And they're really nice acrylic cubes with uh, topics inside based on what you want. And of course, we're going to let you guys, whoever wins, pick the one you want and we'll send it to you uh, the first week in March. So you have all month long in February to go to all of our Tip Tuesdays in February. The more you comment, the more you share it, the more you get entered. And at the end of February, we're going to draw and announce the winner on the first Tuesday in March for whoever wins the table topics. So another great thing you can do to get additional entries is this season, we're gonna ask you to post on this Tip Tuesday down below You can do it between now and right after Valentine's Day. Picture of you and your Valentines together. And we'll see that photo in our feed underneath the Tip Tuesday for today. And you'll be entered again for a chance to win one of the table topics. So lots of opportunities. The more you comment, the more you share. Any of our Tip Tuesdays within a month, you get entered. And uh, last month, We had a fabulous giveaway of a bedside pocket. It was wonderful. So, well, I think that is it. I have shared some great Valentine's savvy shopping ideas for you to take advantage of next, well, this year to benefit you next year. Well, if you have a topic you would like to hear on Tip Tuesday, please let me know. Message us, put a comment down below too. We've got lots in store for you this year. And I am Lorraine Brock with Get Organized, helping you get your home, business, and life organized. And I'll see you next week on Tip Tuesday. Bye, guys.